We use transactional databases to record daily business transactions like orders, invoices, payments, and many more. Because of that, they are also known as OLTP databases. At some point, we should move the data in OLTP databases into other destinations for various purposes. That includes generating reports, updating search indexes, and running ad hoc analytical queries. Change data capture, or CDC, is a technique used to capture the changes made to OLTP databases and propagate them to downstream systems so that they can be informed and updated accordingly. That is particularly valuable in scenarios where near real-time data synchronization is essential. You can check out my previous video for more information on CDC. You can find the link in the description below. Debian is an open source CDC platform that captures the changes made to transactional databases and streams them as change events. Whether you are working with MySQL, Postgres, or MongoDB, or any other OLTP databases, Debian has got you covered. Traditionally, ETL jobs have been used to capture changes from OLTP databases. These jobs run in scheduled batches, causing consumer applications to wait a few minutes, hours, or even days to access data. For example, a sales manager has to wait until the next morning to access the sales report for a particular day. However, DBCM changes by capturing database changes as they happen and sending them downstream, enabling consumer applications to receive and react to changes in real time. DBCM is a log-based CDC platform. It captures the changes by connecting to a database and reading its transaction log. The transaction log is a record of all changes made to the data in the database, including inserts, updates, and deletes. Once the changes are captured from the log, DBCM serializes them as change events formatted in JSON or Apache Avro. These change events have a well-defined schema and a payload, which describe the changes applied to the source database. Finally, Debian publishes the change events into a messaging system like Apache Kafka, enabling multiple downstream systems to consume them in real time. Now that is a very high level explanation, but how that works in real life? What are the deployment options? Let's find out. The most popular way is deploying Debian as a source connector on Kafka Connect. For those who don't know, Kafka Connect is a framework for integrating Apache Kafka with external data sources and syncs through scalable and fault-tolerant connectors. When it comes to transaction logs, different databases have different implementations. For example, in MySQL, it's called the binary log or bin log. In Postgres, it's called the val or write-ahead log. And in MongoDB, it's called the op log or operations log. For each database type, Debian implements a Kafka Connect source connector. These connectors connected to the database, capture the change events, and stream them into Kafka topics. That allows sync connectors to sync them into different destinations. For example, a new record added to the database can be propagated to different data stores simultaneously, such as updating a data warehouse, a search index, and a cache. Another deployment option is to use the standalone Debian server. If you have a messaging infrastructure other than Kafka, this is your best choice. You can use the same set of Debian source connectors with the Debian server without depending on Kafka Connect and Kafka. Once captured, the changes are propagated to a variety of messaging infrastructures, including Amazon Kinesis, Google Cloud Pulse Hub or Apache Pulsar. Alternatively, you can use the embedded Debian engine. That way, you can run Debian source connectors as a library embedded into your custom Java applications. This becomes practical if you want to consume change events within your application itself without deploying Kafka clusters or other messaging systems. Debian has a wide range of use cases in both 
operational and analytics domains. It's a popular option for real-time data replication and data migration among different database systems. The benefit is that Debisium does that without disrupting existing systems in place. And then it's a good choice for building event-driven applications such as caching validation and search index synchronization. Also, Debisim is a great way of feeding real-time data into real-time analytics systems.